as always, if you feel any lightheadedness, dizziness, it's a sign to take a break. Make sure you have water on you. Make sure your, your floor is uh, clear of anything you can trip on. Um, and again, make sure there's nobody going to be opening your door so you're not falling over. Uh, go at your own pace. If I'm, we're going to have a prescribed uh, work and rest times, but if you feel like you need uh, a bit of a break, whether that's stopping before you're supposed to stop uh, or it's taking a longer break than I'm prescribing, that's fine. Go at your own pace. Your body's going to tell you how much it can take. So um, don't don't push yourself too much. And if you're feeling lightheadedness, dizziness, take a break. Okay. Um, if there's any injuries, let me know. I can work around some of the exercises. You can shoot me a message, or you can just let me know by uh, by by letting me know on, on your uh, on your microphone. If you want me to take a look at uh, your technique, you can turn your camera on. By all means, feel more than welcome to do that. But we're going to start with our warm up. So we're going to do jump rope. What we're going to do is 30 seconds of jump rope. Then we're going to go into single leg lunge and twist. So for our single leg, leg lunge and twist, we're going to lunge and then turn our body. Okay, so we're turning our torso to the left, look over this way at that wall there, come back, big push back. On the right hand side, we're going to turn as well, arms out, a full turn here, really extend, rotate the torso and back. We're going to do um, 15 of those. Okay, so each time we do a lunge is one rep. So it's not 15 on each leg, it's 15 total. From there, we're going to go into a push up, modified push up on our knees. Again, we're not trying to exhaust ourselves, we're just trying to warm our body up, okay? Uh, so 30 seconds, 15 reps, and then 10 reps of the push up. And by that time, we'll be uh, warmed up, ready to go. Your joints will feel a little bit more greased up and ready to go as well, okay? So we'll start with our jump rope for 30 seconds. Nice and light on your feet, okay? Not too quick. Keep that pace up there. Maybe a bit higher on the hops. Get some air now. We'll do 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to go into our lunges. Nice and low. Keep that knee off the ground. One, two, and turn. Three, turn. Good. Four, full rotation. Five, six, look over that left shoulder. Seven, look over that left shoulder. Eight, look over that right shoulder. Keep going. Nine, ten, keep that torso upright. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, big pushback. Fourteen, last one. Fifteen, good. We're gonna go into our push ups, we'll get on the floor. Again, we're doing these modified, so from our knees, we're going to do 10 of these, okay? One, two, all the way down, all the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. We're going to add one more exercise. We're going to do shoulder rotations with our palms facing up. Start off small circles. Try to come as far back as you're coming forward. A bit bigger. And biggest all the way around. Good. Palms facing down. Going forward now. Small circles. A bit bigger. And biggest all the way around. Awesome. So we're going to start with our rows. We're going back to back. In rows and push ups, we're doing 12 reps and we're going to do three rounds of this superset. Okay, so we're going to do rows down on the ground, push ups. Okay, 12 reps of each. Push ups will be um, either from your knees or you can go off your toes. If those variations are too easy for you, what you can do is stack some books up and that just creates a bit more range of motion. Uh, so it's a bit tougher to do. If the rows are too easy to do, what you can do is Move your feet in a bit more, or you can throw on a backpack. Okay, throw some weight, throw, throw some uh, books in there, some water bottles. It'll help add resistance to the exercise. Okay, so we're gonna start with our rows. Bring our feet forward. Our hips stay straight up. See, I'm not sagging down. My abs are locked. I'm gonna pull myself up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, elbows right back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, three more, ten, eleven, last one, and twelve. Good. If you find that your grip is fatiguing, well, you can just wrap your hands around like this. We can do a stronger grip on that on that bed sheet. We're going to go down to our push-ups, 12 push-ups, any variation you'd like. Obviously, try a dip, more of a challenging one. We're going chest touches the floor. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Halfway there. Six, five. Keep going. Four. Three, two, and one. Good. We'll go back to our rows. Again, find your sweet spot. You want tension on your lats and your upper back that whole time. Okay. So if you're out here and it's you don't feel the tension, try to come a bit closer to the door. Let's start at the bottom and begin. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, squeeze those shoulder blades at the top, eight, nine, nice and slow on the way down, ten, two more, elbows back, eleven, last one, and twelve, good. Back onto the floor, we're going to do our push-ups. Again, you can go from your toes, from your knees, or you can stack your hands up. Three, two, one, and go. We're going for 12 reps. Two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, all the way down. Three, two, arms fully extended, and one. Good. Shake the arms out. You might be a bit tired. After going back to back there. Again, feel free to wrap your hands. If they're fatiguing a little. Find your sweet spot. Arms fully extended. Pull yourself up. See how my shoulders nice and relaxed? Good. Two. Three. Elbows back. Four. Pause at the top. Five. Six, seven, eight, right up, pause, nine, ten, keep going, eleven, last one, and twelve, awesome. Last set of push ups, try to do a more difficult variation, challenge yourself a little bit. I'm doing twelve here. Down, chest touches the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Last one. Well, good. All right, we're done with those two. You shake the arms out. We're going to move on to our lower body. Maybe single leg squats. <clears throat> if these are too difficult, what you can do is a, a bilateral squat or just a regular two footed squat. You can still use these for balance. But I want to see you go down right to the bottom position. Back up again. Bottom position. Back up again. If you can do the uh, single leg squat, that's preferred. A bit more challenging. Put your foot down. Left foot comes forward. I'm on my right foot, left foot comes forward. And I come down, bottom position, my torso stays straight, and back up again, okay? We're driving with this foot. We're not pulling ourselves up with our, uh, with our bed sheet. We're just using it as, uh, as to, balance our, to balance ourselves out, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds and we'll start. I'm gonna start with my right foot. And 
and begin. One, two, three, four, we're going to 12, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep that chest up, 10, 11, last one, and 12, good. Switch feet, same thing on the other side. 12 reps, straight foot forward, chest up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more, 10, 11, last one, 12, good. Shake the legs out a little bit. We're gonna start in 20 seconds. You can grab some water if you have it. We go back to our right foot. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Right foot down and up. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Five, six. Chest straight, torso straight. Seven, eight, nine. Control yourself on the way down. 10, 11, last one, and 12. Switch legs, shake the right leg out a little bit. Put our left foot down, our heel and the front of our foot, our whole foot should be flat. Very knees, okay? Chest stays upright, looking straight ahead. Bend the knee and then drive up. One, two, three, Four, good. Five, six, halfway there, keep going, chest up. Seven, eight, nine, two more. Down all the way and up. Last one, down all the way and up, good. Shake the legs out, we're gonna do one more round. Do 30 second rest. Some water if you have it. Get ready for the next round. 15 more seconds. Okay, last round. Right foot on the floor. Again, try to maintain that nice straight line in your upper body. Chest forward, head straight. And that knee come down. One, good. Butt back. Two, three. Keep that left leg off the ground. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three more. Ten. All the way down, nice and slow. 11, last one, and 12, good. Shake the right foot out. Left leg down, foot flat, chest up, right leg out, and begin, lower your body. One, good. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, good. Eight, nine, three more. Control and slow on the way down. 10, two more. 11, last one. And up, good. All right, shake the legs out. Guys. 
minute rest. We're gonna now work our hamstrings. So this variation of a squat is gonna be mostly quad dominant. Squats at the front of your legs here. Now what we wanna do is work the back of our legs, which are our hamstrings and our glutes. We're gonna do that from the floor. I'm gonna demo it, but you can take a, take your, your break right now. You don't have to start. Just gonna demo the exercise. Yeah, you guys should be able to see me there. Hands you can put at your sides here. Okay. You're gonna press your hips off the floor. So you're gonna bring your heels towards your butt. Okay. You're gonna press your hips up. One rep, come all the way down. Two reps, all the way down. If that's too easy, what you can do is put a stack of books or a box uh, under your feet. So I'll show you here. You guys can see that box there. You would put this under your feet, okay? And you press off that. I'm not gonna press off this because it'll break, it'll break the box, but you're gonna press off that. So it's increasing the range of motion of the exercise. Another option. Do it off one foot, okay? So I'll show you. I'm working my left leg here. My right foot's straight up. Press and back down. Up and back down, okay? So pick whatever variation you like. We're gonna do three rounds of 12, 12 reps, okay? I'm gonna start in 15 seconds. Come down to the ground. Bring your heels back before you start, okay? The heels should be pretty close to your butt. If you're on carpet, put something behind your back so you don't slide around. Hands down, we're gonna start in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those heels back. One, good. Two, pause at the top. Three, keep the knees out. Four, five, six, Seven, make sure you squeeze at the top. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. One more. And twelve. Good. Okay, so to get to get enough out of that exercise, what you need to do is really squeeze, contract your hamstrings and your glutes, okay? Muscles in the back of your leg and your butt muscles. Top, when you reach the top, squeeze for a second and then slowly lower. If you want to take it a step up, then you would use blocks there to increase the range of motion, or you can go off one foot, okay? We're going to start our next set now. Same thing, start with your heels back towards your butt. We'll give you more range of motion. Three, two, one, and go. Right up as high as you can on your hips. One, two, Three, four, five, six, make sure you're pausing the top. Seven, pause. Eight, pause. Nine, ten, two more. Eleven, pause. Last one, twelve. Shake the legs out, stretch the hamstrings, muscles in the back of your legs. We're gonna do one more round, 12 reps again. If those 12 reps were too easy, you can try the single leg variation. You can do 12 reps on each leg. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Get into position, bring those heels back. Five, four, three, Two and one, go. One, two, three, pause, four, pause, five, pause, six, pause, seven, pause, eight, pause, nine, pause, ten, 
Two more. 11, last one, and 12. All right, you break, stretch your hamstrings. We're gonna do a new movement today, uh, but I think you'll be familiar with it. From boot camp, we're gonna do bear crawls. It's gonna be timed. So this is a really good uh, finisher to do for the shoulders, the lats, the chest, abs, obliques, um, quads, hamstrings, glutes, good total body movement. Um, we're gonna focus on time under tension. So we're not doing reps, we're gonna do time. We're gonna do this for one minute, okay? Um, make sure you have space in front of you, behind you. Go as far as you can forward. So just uh, to jog your memory, go off your toes. So your knees are floating just above the floor. And then you're gonna move your opposite arm, opposite leg. And move my left hand forward, my right foot forward in this, okay? So I'm gonna go as, fo as far forward as I can. And then I go back. And you're gonna continue that for a minute. Um, you, if, for me, I can do three steps. If you can do more than that, that's fine. If you can only do one forward and back, that's cool too. But we're gonna do it for a minute. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. I'm gonna start the timer. Five, four, three, two, and go. Forward. Good. At your own pace. Keep those hips low. Nice straight line from your upper, from your shoulders, right down to your butt. Okay. Just hover above the ground, forward and back. That's it. Just like that. Nice and controlled. Nice slow movements. That good. Halfway there, 30 more seconds. Going. Get back. That's it. Keep going. Push against those abs. Don't let your butt sag. 15 seconds. Keep going. Nice and slow. Five, four, three, two, and one, good. All right, we're gonna shake the arms out. Shake the legs out. We're gonna finish off with some ab work. I'm just gonna grab a pillow for myself. I'm on hardwood here. I'm gonna bring this down. So actually, before we do our ab work, we're gonna do some isolation work for our biceps, triceps. We can't forget the biceps. <laughs> so um, we're gonna be doing arm curls, a super set of arm curls with these, with our bed sheets, and tricep extensions, okay? So we'll start with tricep extensions. Arms are fully extended here. Try to grab as far down on the bench as possible. Elbows come close to our sides. Come down. Elbows stay bent close to our ears and back up again. Okay, 12 of these. Two, fists stay forward. Three, elbows nice and narrow. Come right down to the elbows. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, keep going. Nine, ten, two more. Eleven, last one, all the way down and up. Good. Bicep curls, find your sweet spot. Arms full, extended, lean back. Pull yourself up, bending at your elbows. One, elbows high and hands high. Two, Three, elbows stay narrow, facing forward. Four, five, hips up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
eight, nine, three more, 10, elbows up, so let them come down, 11, last one, and 12, good. Back to our triceps, arms fully extended. Sorry about that, I had a message there. Arms fully extended. Down and up. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, elbows forward. 10, two more, 11, last one, and 12, good. Back to our bicep curls. Find your sweet spot, lean back, and up, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, keep going. Nine, elbows close and high. 10, two more. 11, right up. Last one. And 12, good. All right, last round. Arms fully extended. Bend at the elbow, one. I will straight, stay straight and right by your ears to the bottom, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, keep those elbows up. Nine, keep going. 10, 11, last one, and 12, good. Last set of bicep curls. You gotta find your sweet spot. And pull up, one, elbows high. Two, three, constant tension on the biceps. Four, elbows in front, five, Hips up, six, halfway there, six, hi, sorry if the, my uh, internet connection looked like it stopped for a second there. We're gonna, we're gonna finish off. I just finished the bicep curls. We're just gonna finish off with a plank complex. We're gonna go from dips, sorry, from a, a plank, high plank, forearms, high plank, forearms. So we're gonna alternate. We'll start in a high plank. We'll go down into our forearm and come back up. We're gonna do that for a minute, okay? I'm gonna bring this down. See there. And we're going to start in a high plank again. Position here. I'm just using this pillow to protect my forearms from the ground. Come down, come back up. We're going to try to do that without rocking side to side or up and down. Okay. A lot of people will come down like this and back up. But what you want to do is keep your body stable. And, and push out and fight against any movement, okay? So we're gonna go for a minute, up top and begin. Down and up, that's good. Nice and slow and controlled. Make sure it's 
solid plank. I'm just going to get rid of this. Keep those knees straight. Make sure your quads are flexed, but mine is flexed as well. Keep going up, up, down, down. Body gets the resistance to move around. Shoulders straight. Keep going. 15 more seconds. Up, down. Up, up, down, down, keep going. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one, good. All right, shake the arms out. I'm gonna stand up and do a cool down. All right now, just shake our arms out, loose. We take our hands, slide them down our thighs, past our knees, with our shins. And the side looks like this. Just let your arms hang. Don't round your your back too much. Push your bum back. Hands down. Up at your toes if you can. Come up. We're going to just take our right hand behind our, behind our back here. And we're going to turn to our left, open up this chest here. Front the shoulders, come back. Same thing on this side. Bring your right shoulder around, twist that torso. Good. Try to keep your feet flat and straight on the floor. Same thing on this side. Just put your hand behind your back like this. Take your hand. Twist it over your right shoulder. Again, try to keep your feet flat and pointed straight. And switch, same thing on this side. Knees all the way around, keep your feet flat and pointed straight. Come down to the ground. We're gonna go into a lunge, but our, our, our knee can actually sit on the floor. So from the side, it's gonna look like this. Take your left elbow, put it against your left leg. Take your right hand and pry your body open. You might hear a little bit of cracking. It's fine. Just don't go to a point of discomfort. Try to take this hand, bring it right across and push against your elbow, okay? So you're opening up your hips here and you're opening up your chest. Good. And from the front, we'll look like this. Push against this leg and bring my hand open. Switch sides. Same thing on this side. This hand, right elbow, the right knee. And twist and push against that knee. Try to pry that knee this way. Open up your hips. If you want, you can place that hand on your foot. Good. We're going to come down to our knees and walk our hands forward. And walk our fingers forward. Press your head into the floor. Take a deep breath in. Push your butt back. Shoulders forward. Empty your nose. And empty your mouth. Empty your nose. And empty your mouth. Empty your nose. And empty your mouth. Walk your hands back, take your right hand, put it between this little window here. Again, turn your torso and then lean your shoulder into the ground. Twist. And push your hand through and twist. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. Again, in through your nose and exhale. Come up, same thing on the other side. Take your left hand, put it under your right hand. Let your torso twist. Push your butt back, arm forward. Big breath in through your nose. And exhale. In through your nose. 
and exhale into your nose and exhale. Good. Stand up onto our feet. We'll bring this up. Just gonna do some work for our neck, do some passes. We're gonna start looking over our right shoulder nice and slow, looking over our left shoulder nice and slow, over our right shoulder. Over our left shoulder, over our right shoulder, over our left shoulder. Good. And we're going to take our shoulders and bring them up and back. All the way up and then all the way back. All the way up and all the way back. All the way up and all the way back. All the way up and all the way back. We're going to do the same thing going forward now, all the way up, all the way forward, all the way up, and all the way forward. All the way up and all the way forward, all the way up and all the way forward. Good. You're gonna open your door. You're gonna take your hand. We're gonna stretch our chest and our shoulder, our biceps and triceps. We're gonna reach back, peel back. Give your left hand a twist. And then reach up at the door frame. Slide that hip out. Try to extend both arms. Good. We're gonna do the same thing on. We're gonna do the same thing opposite way. So go to the other side of your door frame. Peel back. So we're using our left hand now. Peel back. Keep going back as far as you can. So you should feel the stretch in your shoulders, your chest, a little bit of your bicep. Now you're gonna take your right hand, place it on the doorway. And push your right hip out, straighten your arm. Okay. All right, that's it for today. Thanks, thanks for joining in. Hope you uh, got a good workout there. It's perfectly normal for everything to feel sore over the next couple of days. Just make sure you're eating lots, drinking lots of water. Uh, if you have any questions about the exercises, let me know. You can send me an email or you can comment in the comments in the uh, chat as well, okay? Have a great night, and I guess I will see you Thursday for boot camp. Take care.